Hello, everyone. Um, great win for the Owls. Uh, it was good to see our guys go out. Uh, first of all, it was good to have back-to-back -back games. It was good to be back here at home and, and playing the game. And um, Really excited by the way our defense played. I thought there were, there were lights out today. Did a great job of shutting down their run game. You know, offense, we made some plays here and there. Uh, wasn't as consistent as we would like to be, but we made plays when we needed to. And um, it was good to see our guys come to get a much-needed win. We talked all week about uh, how important it was to win this ball game. It was a much-needed win. And um, our guys took on that challenge and, and, and um, came through it. You coming to this game talking about you wanted uh, better execution on offense. Uh, you guys scored on the opening two drives at 17 points in the first half. Uh, How did you feel about the showing that you guys had to start the game? Well, I thought uh, going out, uh, starting the game, we showed some signs of what we can be offensively. You know, we just uh, haven't been consistent for four quarters, and, and we got to we got to continue to work to, to be that kind of football team. You know, we want to be the team we know we can be, you know, and um, our defense is playing light side right now. And, you know, we're going to catch up offensively, you know, but we've shown signs of what we can be. We just need more consistent cons consistency when it comes to execute, executing plays. You know, we can't drop balls. Um, and, and then we got to, we got to take care of the blocks when they're there to be taken care of. And the only quarter you guys didn't score in was that third quarter. What wasn't working uh, in that quarter? Um, we weren't blocking. We didn't do a good job of blocking, and we were playing behind the sticks there, you know, on first down, that was first and 15, and second, and it's tough playing football behind the chain, you know, and so um, we didn't do a good job of executing. We didn't do a good job. Uh, when I say we, I'm talking about all of us, coaches and players. We didn't do a good job there in the second half when it comes to um, executing everything. When, when play calling, coming in, and, and substitution, and just the whole nine yards, we got to be much better when it comes to that. Hmm? Hey, Coach. How you doing? I'm doing well, Cal. How are you? Good, good. Um like TikTok or something. You got switching to come in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jalen Joyner, three sacks today. And, you know, he hit that one right before halftime, which prevented UTSA from getting points on the board. What did you see out of him today? And how important is he to your defense? Uh, he's, he's big for our defense. The energy that he brings every day, um, I mean, whether it's practice or game, he brings that energy, that juice. I think his personality fits exactly what Jim want to do defensively and and being aggressive, and and um and he does a great job. I thought the game plan that Coach Levin and the defense staff had for our guys was good. The things Coach Levin is doing is, is utilizing our our, our um, personnel to the best of their ability, not necessarily to the scheme, but putting them in a position where they can make plays and and be successful. And and you see, it's paying off big time for Jalen. You know, just being athletic and playing up front that's that helps when you're going against big O line where you can move on at times, and it's, it's tough to get to him. And then a rotational defensive end, Chris Jones had a really terrific game, and, you know, seemed to create havoc in that defensive ball in that backfield. Uh, how has his progress been from the kind of camp to now? Uh, we, we've been talking as a staff that he's going to be a great one, you know, when it's all said and done. And I remember the first ball game this season versus Chad, I mean, against uh, Charlotte, he got a sack there early in that game. Um, it's good. It's good to see young guys out there making those plays. He's playing with a lot of confidence right now. I mean, you talk to him in practice. You just hear him talking more. It's just like he's been here for a while. Before he was quiet. Now he's talking a little more, you know, but you can see the confidence growing in him each and every practice, each and every game. And again, uh, being a freshman, not having spring ball and those, those things, it's, it's good to see him making those, that progress right now. And good to see a lot of those young guys out there making plays. Appreciate it, coach. Yes, sir. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Doing so well. All right, um, Dr. Davidson had a great game today. Finally got over 100 yards. What was he doing out there that was working so well? Uh, he was running hard. You know, uh, we told we told Malcolm, we're going to feed you this game, buddy, so uh, be ready to go. I'm, I'm disappointed because he only got 14 carries. I want him to at least get 20, you know, but uh, he did a he did a great job. And, and, and I think he just showed everybody what he's capable of doing. I mean, you all have been around here. You've seen it before. And, um, 
it's good for me as a head coach to see him do it. You know, Malcolm is not the – there's no slight on him or anything. He's not the, the – uh, I'm going to put this without making it seem negative. You watch Malcolm in practice and you be like, oh, oh, well. But you watch him in the game, it's like Superman putting on the cape. You know, he just – he just goes, and um, it was great to see him. Like I said, he's a quiet guy. He just just go whatever you want to do. He, he does it, and um, it was great because we needed we needed that uh, from him in this game, and we're gonna need it for him as we continue on the season. We know we need for him to be that back that we we know he can be. And um, again, he he did a great job for us. It was great. It was great to see our offense um, rush for the, the amount of yards that we rushed for. I mean, it was something. We, we talked about we wanted to get over um, 200, I think. That last play or whatever kind of took us behind that, but um, it was good to see us get something, some kind of identity uh, going there, and uh, we need to continue to build on that. And then uh, running back is, was one of the deepest positions going into the season. You've had quite a few injuries. Do you have any updated on Kelvin Dean or James Charles? Um. What I was told, they'll be fine. You know, some some nicks here and there. Again, 2020, I don't know what happened in 2020. Like you said, that was the deepest position we had. We didn't, we didn't even think about injuries when it came to that, but um, it's 2020. You just never know. Thank you, Coach. Yes. Hey, Coach. Congratulations. I found out you weren't sure for college. So I want to know what the answer is. Anyway, appreciate it. You talk about 2020, what is he separately in the really long form? You guys obviously only played two games going into this game. You played Texas and San Antonio, played seven. What are your thoughts about the differences in games? Or you really don't know what the team they really told you about getting these two games? Yeah, you know, a pretty good feel for the others. Well, I think for us, we were still learning our team. Yeah, you'd like to see back-to-back games and see how you guys respond. And we didn't have that opportunity until this game, you know, and it was great to see our game. So last week was like playing from week one to week two, and it was good to see. We made some improvement from the Marshall game. And I think as a staff, we're continuing to understand and learn our team, you know, and um, and we got to continue to build off of that as, as we play and, and see our guys, how they respond. In games, I mean, some guys respond different than others. You, you get to see that in game, and, and for us, we got to do a great job of recognize those differences and, and use it to our advantage. But um, it's great to have back-to-back games. Now we got three behind us, you know, and now we got to be smart and um, when we leave here and make sure we mask up, do all the things we need to do because we know it happened last time. Uh, so we got to learn from that mistake so we can continue to play ball. You know, and continue to try to get better because I think the more we play, the better we're going to get as a football team, and um, and we're looking, we're going to look forward to that. What about Texas San Antonio? Though obviously they have played a lot of games. You think that potentially could have been a little bit of damage or just a well, I think, uh, well, I think when you play a lot of games again, you you get used to playing with each other. Um, the coaches get to know their team and. Um, you just done some things routinely, you know. I'm sure they've been on the road a couple of times already, so they know what it's like being on the road and play. Um, again, a lot of the things that the kinks that we had to get out, they, they pretty much got them out of the way with games. These teams that play so many games, you know. So, um, again, whether an advantage, um, I think just from um, understanding the team and, and playing well together, um, yeah, from that standpoint, but just – Again, any given Saturday, you got to come ready to play, you know, and um, I was just really excited by the way I guys came ready to play today. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Reese, come on here. Thank you, one more. All right. Uh, one more from Kobe. Go on, Reese. You mentioned that, uh, I mean, playing games, that's how you learn about the team. What have you learned about the team for uh, three outings? Say it again. What did you learn about the team for the first three games? Um, I learned that we can have a really, really good defense. Um, our defense can be really good. Um, I learned that we're not consistent enough um, offensively, and we got to be consistent. I think in the more games we have back to back, the more that consistency will come. You know, um, and I, I, it showed me that we can run the football. You know, that's something we want to be able to do. And about today we showed we could do it. We could be better at it, you know, but we got to be more consistent 
in our play, you know. But again, I think the more we play, that's going to come from the offense standpoint. To go back to last week, not everybody was playing in that game, you know. So trying to get that consistency going, it was it's tough. We don't have everybody here doing the same thing each and every week. So, um, but and then um, special team, I think I think that can be a weapon for us. You know, we got a big time punter that can do great things for it. I think we got an exciting uh, return man that can do things. We see when he hit it, and he catches, it, make great decisions. He can do things for us. So, I think we have a chance to be a a good football, a, a really good football team. But there's a lot of work to to be done. And, uh, and, and we got to continue to build on it. Right now, I think we're, uh, again, defense is a lot further ahead than, than, than our offense, which is good. When your offense is struggling, your defense play that well, uh, that's a good thing, you know. And now it's, again, I, and I see our guys coming, and, and I think the first quarter, first half of our offense showed that they can, what they can do. Again, we just got to be consistent when, when doing it. Mm-hmm. Jack, you're up, Jack, finally, Jack. Hey, Willie, congratulations on the win. How you doing? Appreciate it. Doing well. Good. Hey, uh, real quick, what, what would be a good nickname for Taggart Jr.? Uh, little Willie, Tiny Taggart, Jr.? He don't, like, he don't like Little Willie no more. He says he's not Little anymore. Yeah. So, uh, just call him Will. What y'all call him? Junior. The players call him Junior. Junior? So, <laughs> Someone call him JR. He said Will. So for for Will or Junior, whoever was that planned for him to get yeah, action? Yeah, we wanted to, we wanted to get him some reps in there, get him some experience. I mean, again, we we see the injuries and things that happen, and again, I don't want not going. I don't want something to happen to, to Nick, and then we don't have a guy with some experience at least playing out there. So we wanted to do it earlier in, in the second quarter. We didn't get a chance to do it then, so uh, we put him there, put him in there a little bit there. In the, um, third quarter to get some experience with later on down the road, and yeah, you just never know. Was there any discussion about throwing Posey on there as well? Well, Posey had just got back uh, what's the, yesterday um, from quarantine, so um, there was no time to get him ready or anything like that to play. I, I noticed there weren't that many shots down deep in a passing game today. What was that out of respect to their safety that they have? You know, Drew and I were actually talking about that earlier this week. Or was that just, you know, let's beat them short and on the ground game? Well, we, we wanted to play to our strength, you know, and um, you know, we wanted to run the football. We came in saying we're going to run the football. We're going to be patient with the fo- running the football, something that we haven't done in the first two ball games, especially early in the game, you know, and and then we're going to take our shots when 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 we needed to and when they came. You know, we wanted to play with tempo, and I thought that the first first half, first quarter, we did a pretty good job with the tempo. Not as good as we can and will be, but we did better. And, and um, I think that's when you can see what this offense can be when we do play with tempo and we can run the ball. And running the football is going to set up the pass for us. So, um not as many shots because I really wanted to focus on running the football and, and be patient with it and um, and take the shots when, when we could. You know, uh, Sincere McCormick, he, he led the nation in, in rushing going into this game, and that's not going to be the case going into next week, and that's because your defense has played lights out against a great running back again. Uh, I mean, you just take a, you know, lean back for a second and just – appreciate how ruthless that rush defense is or do you just say all right let's get ready for the next one well we uh it's kind of what we do that's our mentality that's our that's the um philosophy coach wants on, on defense we want to stop the run and our guys are bought into that they're stopping the run and you know make teams have to throw a ball on us you know and our guys are t- taking pride they bought into that mentality and again i'm so proud and so think about how many new guys we have over there, you know, and, and the, the, the beauty of it is that they're playing great team defense. You know, no one guy is worried about whether he made the play or not. They all beating off of each other. And I think that's a big reason why we're playing the way we are. You know, you just look at the three games we played. If you take away the explosive plays for touchdowns, our guys are playing 
lights out defensively. You know, and I talked to our guys about that during the week. If we can stop giving up explosive plays for a touchdown, it'll be really hard for people to score on us. And sure enough, today we didn't give up an explosive play for a touchdown, and it made a tremendous difference when it came to score. You know, at the end of the day, that's – that's what you look for on defense is keeping them out of the end zone and get takeaways. And I got, we didn't get the takeaways we wanted today, but we kept them out of the end zone, you know, and, and uh, we stopped their best player. Last one for me, coach. Uh, what does Smoke need to do to, to get a pick? <laughs> well, well, if his teammate would have jumped off sides, he would have had one. That was a hell of a catch there. I told him this week he was going to get one, too. I was, now, I wanted that intercept in the count because I, I, I would have been able to tell him. I told you I was right. But uh, uh, it's going to come. You know, it's going to come. He, he He's close. Um, but it's going to come. I think what it's going to take is for his teammates and coaches to continue to stay on him about it. And, and we told these guys, we don't want to lead the countries in pass breakup. We'd like to get some um, interceptions there when they come. So, uh, well, it's coming. Smoke gonna get his coming. Slowly he, but sure, it's gonna get here. He, he's overdue. I think we counted six so far this season that one way or another didn't go his way, unfortunately. Yeah, he, he's gonna. As long as he don't let them catch it, I can deal with it. But we we need for him to catch some of those. Um, I think it. I think I think it's kind of like getting that first olive out the jar. Once you get that first one, the rest of them come out pretty easy, you know. So uh, I think he just gotta get that first one. All right, I think you're hungry, Coach. Thank you. I am. Appreciate you guys. Have a great trick or treat.